Hello, 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 it's Brad. Yamaha Marine Center, Orange Park, off of 295 Wells Road. We share a building with our BMW Ducati dealership. Adam at Carly's across the street. Pretty easy to find. <clears throat> Finally got some inventory in. It's pretty exciting stuff. And of course, one of the most popular boats that we sell. <clears throat> Excuse me. 2021 Key West 203 FS has most of the actually has all of the interior upgrades for the 2021 model year and we got it pretty early in the year so the invoice is still reflecting 2020 which is good for pricing so this boat as the 203 states is 20 feet 3 inches uh, exactly 8 feet on the beam has a 25 inch transom and it's about 1900 pounds uh, drive before engine and those uh, four-cylinder engines aren't all that heavy. I think they're 480 some pounds or something like that. It's a pretty light boat. You can tow with just about every every vehicle out there, half-ton truck, stuff like that. Uh, 12 inches of draft, 60 gallons of fuel. <clears throat> Maximum horsepower is 200 on this model. Uh, we usually stock it with a 150, as the 150 and the 200 are pretty close on performance. Um, recommended capacity is eight persons or something like 1,200 pounds, I think. So if you have little ones, you can count them in weight and not in peoples. Uh, it's on a West Coast trailer. West Coast trailer pricing is separate from the boats. And I'll share the most wanted to know secret out there. Pricing. Um, you can see all the standard features. If you want to screenshot that and go through them. All the 203s come with that. And then we have optioned this boat with all this other stuff. MSRP. I'll get the wind stop blowing. 59515. Uh, we do sell below that price to boaters in our region, which is the Northeast Florida area. Uh, always call for pricing, ask for Brad or Barton. But we'll go through the boat a little bit better. Um, I, Key West has a great shear line to them. I mean, real contemporary, real modern looking, how aggressive it is up front. So they always look like they're moving, even sitting still. Just a nice classic looking center console. A uh, very comfortable boat for cruising, sandbar, entertaining, and then also a very capable fishing boat with a true 12 inches of draft. Now, inshore wise, that is a pretty large T-top. Uh, quite a bit of windage, especially with how high the gunnels are. Um, so having a low draft, being a lighter boat, uh, it will get pushed around by the wind a little bit inshore, but near shore, offshore, uh, does really nice. Um, not as aggressive as some of the other boats, a little flatter. So of course you're probably going to feel uh, a little bit more pounding, but being that the boat is foam filled all the way up the gunnel side, the hit nice and solid. Here it gets harder and harder as the foam comes in. So as you enter the water, you'll uh, notice a nice solid feeling. Um, again, foam filled, has its pluses and minuses, maybe we can cover a few of those here in this video, but uh, decent entry. A little reverse trying running all the way back. Lifting strikes aren't very aggressive as the boat's pretty light. Um, we usually do not option these with trim tabs, uh, which we can do, but it really doesn't need them. Uh, really nice flare coming up. So water deflection, staying dry, all the important stuff. And then come around the back of the boat, you can see that new upholstery. Really attractive, they changed the design and the colors. Uh, it has a Garmin 742XS on it, I believe. You can check that price sheet I just showed you. Um, there's that 25 inch transom um, being that it is a smaller boat uh, we have standard boarding ladder three step and there's no door for entry so you can go through that way which is designed when you trim the engine up uh, for clearance we're just on the side of the boat which I will do today uh, it does have a cushion package all the way across this aft seat we just put them inside so they don't get dirty see that upholstery again and then storage on either side live well again a little bit of built-in fishability uh, so we're talking about pros and cons of foam filling so the solid ride uh, not hearing as much running noise uh, from the water but the con is no storage in the floor because it's full of foam but we still have a self bailing cockpit recessed drains which is nice for a little gully that runs the length of the boat cup holders, rod holders, rocket launcher on the back. So we upgraded the leaning post on this one. More rocket launchers on the T-top. Life jacket holder, nice rigid LED 
half spreaders and we have a forward spreader, map light underneath there, e-box. Ton of features on this boat and price point is right. Yep, eight persons, 1200 pounds. So little ones don't necessarily count as people. Um, no armrests on this one. Uh, they do have the flip down bolsters. So as you're seated, you have a footrest here. And then when you're standing, nice bolstered leaning post. Um, decent room for a 20 foot boat and the cockpit to walk by. The cooler does slide out to give you access to open it fully. All the boats come with the Ritchie. I believe that's the Sportsman model compass. I think it lights up with the nav lights. It's 742 XSV, so it's all touchscreen. Nice stuff. Sounding modules built into it, so it is a chart plotter, GPS, fish finder, the whole deal. Uh, Yamaha command link gauges. You get a pretty decent gauge package there with uh, current trip, fuel flow, fuel economy, total fuel used, fuel gauge, tilt trim, uh, tachometer, mechanical speedometer, and of course you have the GPS speedometer in here. Uh, Clarion stereo. They went from oh Jensen last year to Clarion, so hopefully we have a little bit better luck with those. I don't have much experience with them, so if anybody is familiar with Clarion, I know they're not top of the line, but probably get the job done and this one has two speakers forward two speakers aft nice setup switch panel pretty self-explanatory uh, live well we did add the uh, raw water high pressure wash down so if you don't add this as an option you can still run the raw water off of the live well you just got to hook your hose up to the live well hookup um, and we also added fresh water uh, these two accessories are open and then tilt hydraulic steering with the uh, Upgraded uh, Sea Star. Oh man, I forget the name of it. It's not the, the base star, is the bottom one, but the reservoir for the hydraulic fluids in here, which is nice. You have a little remote uh, hanging around with hoses everywhere. Standard Yamaha Binnacle storage in the footrest. And then we have the two pumps. Oh, so I want fresh water. Nice tool storage or rod storage. Those are tubed. Uh, you can probably fit a pretty decent sized rod in there. And then our raw water over there. It uh, comes with a couple of different hoses to run them and then more rod storage underneath the gunnel cap over here. Walking forward on the boat, battery switch is optional, I think, on this model and it becomes standard on the 219. Uh, so we do install two batteries. Uh, one, well, they're not really house or anything, they both do the same thing. Uh, cushions, bow cushion package is on this boat. Backrest plug in there, I'll show you the backrest in the head compartment. And then these are insulated boxes, so you can use them for fish storage, but they do drain into the bilge. So be conscious of that. You wanna go put in a big stinky fish in there or something. Anchor locker, we did the trolling motor plug option. We just added to every boat because it's very inexpensive to add and then trying to do it after the fact is a nightmare. Again, a downfall of foam filling is rigging access is limited. Sorry about the road noise. <clears throat> Pop-up fenders, nice to keep them out of the way of fishing lines. And then we have the fender, or pop-up cleats, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, Pop-up fender holders, so you don't have to use your good cleats for fender storage. You can use these for fenders and then these for dock lines. Um, Another complaint I have about this boat, which we actually usually end up installing if you're not planning on doing a trolling motor right away, is another cleat right there on the bow in the middle, or we can do one on either side, because uh, it's a pretty long distance from the bow to the midship cleat, and then the stern cleat is all the way around the corner down there. So, uh, not the best, but hey, like I said, a lot of boat for the money. Another cooler here, drains into the bilge fresh water tank which is housed just under this cooler in the head compartment you might be able to see a little access down there next to the porta potty and the plug-in backrest that the technician is supposed to put in those pockets right there you see the batteries we installed nice clean wiring job so it's a it's a good mid-level boat get a lot of bang for the buck um it's no mercedes or cadillac but it will get the job done Switches, four and a half spreader, again that map light, multicolor map light, uh, white and red, I believe. But yeah, if you have questions about this boat, uh, oh, the full length combing pads is a really nice touch too for uh, this fisherman out there. Gives you nice support, nice high gunnel too, so you can lean against it. Even tall guys can uh, kind of lean against that. But if you have questions about this or 
any other boat, call Brad or Barton, 904-644-7631, or get us on our website at yamahamarinejax.com. See ya.